Hey everyone, uh, it's Jordan and Tyler here, and we just want to take a quick moment. Uh, we've had this song that's been on our hearts for actually about two years now, and uh, it really just deals with a lot of things like doubt and anxiety and fear and failure and all these things, and uh, we've been working on it. We're getting ready to release it in January, but we want to put out a version of it, and we just did today, uh, that's an acoustic version that we recorded about about a year ago now, yeah. um, by a little brook in the mountains, we were playing at a camp and we were leading worship there. And um, this song has been really close to our hearts. And I want to share one passage with you, uh, and Tyler's going to share a little bit as well. Um, but I, I just want to read this to you. It says this in Hebrews four. It says, "Let us then, with confidence, draw near." to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace and help in times of need. And the reason this passage means so much to us is because so many times our lives can be marked by failure and regret and, um, and shame and all these things. And yet God has given us the opportunity to come forward to his throne and in his presence and receive grace and mercy in the time of need. And especially right now, uh, both of us feel like now is the time of need. Uh, Tyler, this song has been really personal to you, to you uh, especially. Can you share a little bit about kind of starting writing it and some different things that it means to you? I think um, when I initially started this, the, the passage um, where it's Paul saying, for what I want to do, I do not do, and what I do not want to do, I do, um, was on my heart. And just the, um, I think everyone has different things that vary throughout their life of just like um, a habit or something that you you know is not good and you don't want to continue doing it, but but you, you still do. And even Paul struggled with that throughout his uh, ministry and life as well. Um, and so that was initially what was on my heart of just having um, these, these things that um, weighed me down. Um, and so I wanted to read another verse that was an inspiration for the song, and it's in Psalm 90, and it says, So teach us to number our days that we may get a heart of wisdom. Mm. Um, and the song, it says, Teach us to number our days. Teach us to walk in, our, in your ways, because even when I doubt, I'll praise you. Um, and I think that's so crucial right now that so many times we hit seasons of doubt and we choose to run or we choose to um, sink into ourselves um, and, and not trust in God and run to God. And, and, and God says that when, when we're doubting, like He wants to be there. He wants yeah. to pick us up. Um, and that, that was just my heart behind uh, the lyrics of this song of that when we doubt, God is there for us. And, and we'll always go through seasons of doubt, but that, that doesn't mean that God isn't there. Uh, that he wants to to be there for us in that time. And that's really important now, I think, um, especially in our country, there's so much division and mm-hmm. there's so much hurt and pain. And I think what's really cool, this is another song where I remember you re- literally had written out the entire uh, chorus into your journal and you shared it with me. And something that was a personal prayer, I think now can become a prayer for, for many. Yeah. And uh, I remember finishing up the song and, and writing it with you. And um, man, that because this song started as a prayer and it is a prayer, uh, one thing that we would like to do is we would just like to pray uh, for us and for you as we kind of continue. Uh, just praying that the Lord will bless us with his presence, bless us with his peace, bless us with confidence, knowing that we can come to him even in the moment of our deepest doubt, even in the moment of our fear. We have access to being in the presence of God, and the Lord can teach us, move in us, and grow us closer to Him. So <laughs> let, let me pray. Lord, we thank you so much. We thank you that you are a God who is not distant or far away, and even in times where it does seem like that or it feels like that, and we can be covered in so much anxiety and fear, but God, you are present and you are with us. So God, I pray right now that you would speak to us, and no matter how any kind of circumstances play out, no matter things that are out of our control, how they they happen or how they move. God, we know that you are still in control and you are sovereign. So God, let us come to you to find that rest, to find that peace, even in the middle of um, shame, doubt, or addiction, or whatever it is. Lord, you give us that grace and that mercy in the time of need, and we need you now. 
So God, we pray that you would reveal yourself to us. We thank you. It's in your name we pray. In the name of Jesus. Amen.